Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my latest wax, L3 Waxy Wonders haul. Um, you're going to have to excuse me if I start tripping over my words or sounding like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It is 5.45 in the morning. Uh, when my kids are on break, the only time I can do hauls is when they're in bed. It is simply too loud in this house to do hauls with them home or awake. Uh, my husband just left for work at 5.30, so I figured while I was still up, I would get these done. Then I'll go back to bed till they get up. Um... So anyway, so the owner of L3 Wax and Wonders is Jennifer Westing. Um, she is amazing. She is a master mixer, master blender, master everything. She is really talented. I She's one of the first vendors I ever stumbled upon when I started buying vendor wax. Because um, I have stuff that I kept from um, 20, late 2016 when I first started buying um, wax. I have... I had found something that was winter-like. So, um, sh this is like the first restock I actually made it to. Usually I go in hours later because I either get tied up, I forget about it, or whatever. But I had been on, she restocked on Friday evening, I want to say. Yeah, it was Friday evening. Um, I was on Thursday and I saw the master list and I went, oh shit, I need to get into that. I did I did miss it by like a half hour, but I still got 99% of my list. There was only like two things that I didn't get, which is awesome. I did wind up going in. This is my largest order to date from L3. Um, I really like her wax. It performs very well for me. Um, I usually let it cure for a couple, at least a month. Um, I won't say a couple months. Um, I bought some stuff in November that I'm saving for January that were winter-y. Um, I, you don't have to. Her stuff is pretty well ready to go within two weeks um, of receiving it. But I personally wait um, a minimum of a month. Just because I have plenty of wax to melt in the meantime. I don't, I don't really feel the need to grab it before it's cured. Because I will tell you, I've, I bought a couple things back in November that two weeks later smelled different. It smelled better, like not bad, different, good, different. So I always let every vendor stuff sit for a little bit because I do have plenty of, of stuff to melt in the meantime. So anyways, I usually just, lately I've been just buying polypropylene bags and then a couple wax pieces to make it worth the shipping. But this time I went all out. This was my largest order. Usually they go in a PFRE. I have a medium flat rate box for of stuff. Over the weekend of the restock, she does combine shipping. So if you place, I placed five orders, <laughs> but I knew that she was going to combine the shipping over just so I was cool with that. But I kept thinking, okay, I'm good. And then I kept going back in and going, well, I, I could use this or I could use this. Um, Cause I don't know when the next time I'm gonna make a restock is we get really busy over the next couple months. Um, my in-laws come into town for the last two weeks of February. And so between New Year's and fe in that middle of February, we have a lot of stuff going on around here. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to make any more restocks between now and say March. Um, cause I don't buy a lot. I don't buy a lot of wax when my in-laws are here. One, I don't need to hear it from them as to why I'm spending my money on wax and stuff. Like they're very big into saving every penny extra and not spending anything but my husband and I feel like you only live once and you can't take your money to the grave with you so yeah we do have you know a little bit saved aside our bills are paid as far as I'm concerned what's extra we can do what we feel like doing with it um and that's just that's us um so they just feel like not spending anything frivolously and as far as they're concerned wax is frivolous so um, I don't tend to buy when they're here because I just don't want to hear it when the boxes start showing up and they're like, what's that? Um, I made that mistake this past year because we got our taxes back when they were here and I started buying like ridiculously and I got like a 20 pound box from another vendor while they were here and my mom, and I waited. They it was It got here the day before they left to go home so I didn't open it till after they left because I was like embarrassed. I didn't want them to see how much wax I bought. But it's only because of how they live and how they are. Um, that's great. You can have hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank, but you can't take it with you when you die. And I'd rather enjoy life and enjoy my house smelling good than have it all in the bank and say, well, I wish I would have bought something with it instead of saving it for nothing. Um, so anyways, now that I'm done rambling. So 
I try, I've tried to buy a lot from different restocks the past couple weeks because, again, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get into another restock before March. So, anyways, um, Jennifer is very um, generous. <laughs> again, it's 5 in the morning uh, with her samples. And so I'm going to just jump right in. I'm going to try to crinkle as little as possible. I know you guys hate crinkling but it's inevitable with these bags. So the first sample, and this one I really hope she brings in um, to another restock is Caribbean Day Spa. And it's this cute little snowflake shape. And this one smells just like fresh water. I'm not gonna open these because they are very crinkly. Um, this smells just like fresh water and like very spa-like. This is gonna be really good in the bathroom. And again, I, will pick, I would pick that up in a heartbeat in a restock gold sugar this one is sugary and it kind of has like a like a golden sands type scent to it again this is going to be really good in the bathroom and the last sample is egyptian amber and i really have started liking amber scents which i never used to but this one's really good and again i'm going to put all three of those in the bathroom so as per usual i have four by four polypropylene bags i usually pick up the 50 count um Right now at tax time, I will be buying the 100 count. Um, I don't do a lot of these stashes really anymore because I've got my um, what I like and what I don't like pretty much down. There's a couple things I may still not like, but most of what I have I know I'm going to want. Um, I do usually keep these on hand though for cracked lids to rebag um, scent shots. L3 has moved on to the more durable plastic oval um, scent shots, but I have older L3 um, scent shots that are still in what I call the fast food condiment containers with the plastic lids that crack very easily. Um, and I have a bunch of other vendors scent shots that are also in those old style cups. And they, I mean, you can open it once. Like I will open those to, to microwave them to cut them. So I'll, I'll open it once, take the scent shot out, put it in the microwave to cut it. By the time I put it back in the container, after I've cut it, it, it cracks. And then I have this whole scent shot that's got a crack lid. So I keep these on hand mostly for that anymore since I don't do a whole lot of these stashes. So I'm going to jump right in because this is a large order. The first thing I have is SPEW. And this is for from the Harry Potter single chunk collection that she had done. She had done a pre-order. And then excess from the pre-order she actually put in the, um, the restock, the raised ship restock. And the scent notes on this are clean linens, fresh air, and driftwood. And this is going to be awesome in the bathroom. I'm going to cut this chunk into probably at least five, if not six pieces. And this is going to be an amazing scent for the bathroom. It's very fresh, very laundry, very just all over a nice bathroom scent. The next thing I have is Iceberg on the Rock Salty Sea Air Spearmint. And this one I actually had bought. This is what I was talking about that I bought last year. Um... And this, these are the Olaf shapes she came out with. This one I had bought last year and I just melted it this month. It's in my December empties video or it will be in my December empties video. And this is just a nice salty sea air in spearmint. And I love this one so much that I wanted to grab another one. And so what I do for, for a rule of thumb, I do write the date I received the product on the label. Um, yes, pour dates are nice touch. I know some vendors either don't have time or just aren't into it. So it's always good for me to have with as much wax as I do have. I don't want to play guessing games as to when I received it. So um, what I do is I write scent descriptions for things that need scent descriptions. I write the date on everything like that I need the scent description for. The rest of these have the scent description on them or the name themselves is self-explanatory and they don't need self uh, scent descriptions. So this way I know, hey, I received this on the 20th. It's safe to say that by the middle of January, this will be good to go. Um, again, I do cure her wax. I know it's not necessary. She says two weeks. I usually go at least a month. I feel things get better with age. Um, every vendor I have experienced, I have waited at least a month because I, per I personally get better throw. It's all about person per what personal preference is. My personal preference is a minimum of a month. I have plenty of wax to melt in the meantime, so I'm not, you know, hurting for it to be cured immediately. Look at the gorgeous detail on these. These are her gingerbread houses, and this one is Aunt's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls, and I'm really sad that this one sold out on the site because I've actually 
after smelling this entire order last night, I actually went back into the site and filled my cart again. I am waiting a day or two to check out um, um, just to see where my funds are because I have spent a lot of money on wax lately. So I just want to get my funds in order and see where I'm at. Um, but this one's one that I wish I could have gotten more of. This one's very, you sm it's like sticking your face in a jar of strawberry preserves, like the planner, all fruit, that kind of just, not jelly, but real jam. I smell strawberry and like strawberry seed type. Yeah, this is really good. I don't get a whole lot of jelly rolls, so that may come out later once it's cured fully. Um, but there's some things in here I was able to add to my cart that I'm going to wind up hopefully getting duplicates if not triplicates of because they smell really good. Most of these I will melt all year long despite having um, winter designs. Once they're in the melter, nobody is going to know what it used to look like. Um, like the Jelly Rolls one, that's a gingerbread house, but you know what? That's one I will melt all year long. And like this one, this one is eggnog blueberry sugar cookies. This one I would melt all year long, even though it is a Christmas decoration. And this is very heavy on the blueberry. And then there's like a creaminess from the eggnog. Um, so it's not like I have to say, oh no, I'm not gonna melt these in time for winter to be over. Cause frankly, I don't care. The next one is, um, Holly Jolly Holiday Cake Spiced Orange Pound Cake with Cream Cheese Frosting. And this is a huge bar. Look how big that is. I'm going to at least be able to get at least eight melts out of that. I'm going to cut it across the middle and I'm going to cut it a couple times up and down. And this is really nice. Really nice. This is very orangey. And I was hoping the spice wouldn't be too spicy. But so far it seems alright. Now my nose is itchy because I've been smelling everything. The next one is Snug in Their Beds. It's Vanilla Lace, Snuggle Type, and Fraser Fur. And this is, I think, one of those word bar. And this I'm going to get at least six melts out of because it's good size. And this one I smell the Snuggle. And the Fraser Fur. And it smells amazing. I love laundry scents. I am a very big laundry scent person. I will grab all I can in laundry scents. This one I grabbed more, I put more in my cart. Hopefully it'll still be there when I order Fruit Loop Zucchini Bread. Um, some vendors zucchini bread I, is too overpowering and I can't do it. So I only ordered one of each of the scents and these things are huge. Look how tall these snowflakes are. So that's at least three melts. Um, her zucchini bread is very creamy. Some zucchini breads are just kind of like, is too bready for me, if that makes sense. But hers is very creamy, especially when it's mixed with like Fruit Loops and these other things that I have mixed with it. Yeah, this is another one. I've had a lot of her Fruit Loop blends and I love them. Um, Jennifer's Fruit Loop Cheesecake is to die for. The next thing I got is Whoville, which is pink sugar marshmallow cookies. And again, most of these are blends I would melt all year long. The only one I really want to get melted in the winter is the um, Iceberg on the Rocks because it's kind of reminds me of winter. But with spearmint, spearmint can be melted all year long. So really none of these I have to melt in the winter. So I'm actually good to set these up and wait till like spring. I don't do a lot of florals in the spring. <coughs> So my melt boxes are not going to look normal um, to what people usually melt in the spring. I do light florals in the bathroom, but I, I, I'm i a bakery all year long and a fruity bakery all year long person. This smells really good. This is pretty heavy on the pink sugar and then the rest of that you can smell, but it's not dominant. But again, I'm going to let that set up and see. This one was another one that I, I, I really wish I'd gotten more of. It's pistachio pudding cake zucchini bread. I think there's more of this on the website. I'm fairly certain that I, I added more of this to my cart. These things are so big. I can't believe how thick they are. And this is so creamy. Um, pistachio pudding cake is one of my favorites. I don't like pistachio by itself. Like I tend to do pistachio pudding and pistachio pudding cake. Because it's just very creamy. 
And that's mostly what I get from this. I don't get a whole lot of zucchini bread yet. But once it cures, I have stuff I bought from L3 back in November that smells different than it did when I bought it. Because it's had time to set up. And so that's why I'm very big on curing. Next one is Christmas PJs, Downy Sugar Cookies, and Blue Spruce. And this one is heavy on the downy and the blue spruce and the sugar cookies i'm hoping will come out when it's melting but again it's laundry and it makes me happy so i don't really care at this point my nose keeps itching because i keep smelling things the next one is blackberry zucchini bread and this one i purposely only got one of because some vendors blackberry is perfumey and i can't do it it gives me a headache Hers, and I don't like bringing up other vendors in vendor holes. Hers is a lot like Super Tarts Blackberry. Very fruity and creamy and really good. And this is really, really good. This is one that I don't know if there was more on the site, but if there was, I put it in my cart. I know I checked all of the shapes to see if there was extra that I could grab. The next one is Eight Crazy Nights Blackberry Jelly Fried Dough and a Hint of Campfire. And this is a four pack of these little, these little snowflakes. And this one is uh, Blackberry Jelly and Campfire. I don't get hardly any of the fried dough, but again, things can change so much in the course of a couple weeks letting it sit. And that's why Jennifer recommends two week cure time. Um, the next thing, these next two I have duplicates of, and this is a Santa's Helpers Candy Cane Cotton Candy Vanilla Bean Noel, and the, this one is a three pack of snowflakes. These are little, these I may do by themselves. And this is very strong on the cotton candy and candy cane, and I had gotten two of those. The next one is lemon curd vanilla pound cake, which I love lemon curd, so I figured mixed with the vanilla pound cake would be really good. It's so good. Yeah, I really enjoy that. It's a nice, nice scent. And I have two of those as well. And the next thing that I have, this one I have, with, I had bought with summer in mind. Strawberry wet, raspberry guava vanilla lace, and these are the single chunks. I love strawberry raspberry guava in the summer. And so I'm thinking ahead because once winter is over, as I've said, I don't do florals in the spring. I jump right into summer. I do summer from about April till September and then I get into fall because I don't like, I mean, too much floral gives me a headache. So I do florals in the bathroom, um, light florals, but I do bakery and fruity all year long. And this is really good. And this is going to be really, really good in the summer. So that's it for the random shapes. And now I got some doggy bags. These are my first purchases of doggy bags. The first one's Sugar Cookie Dough Strawberry Vanilla Bean Noel. And this actually reminds me a lot of Nella Strawberry Noel from another vendor. And there's so many different shapes in here. It's not the same, obviously, but it smells very similar. There's a Santa... And there's a snowflake. And there's just a whole bag of different shapes. And this is really good. I get the sugar cookie dough and the strawberry. The vanilla bean Noel, you know, that's such a light scent that it'll probably come out later. The next one, and that one I also put another one in my cart in case it's still there when I'm able to order. This one I did too. Blonde Moment Birthday Cake Nilla Wafer. This one I have with Summer in mind because of the Blonde Moment. It smells so good and it's a big bag of shapes and even these remind me of like lemonade shapes because they're pink and yellow look at this lego look how cute that lego is and then there's a flower so these are more like those are more christmas shapes these are more like any time of the year shapes so i did put another one of that in my cart because that one's gonna be really good in summer and the last doggy bag is Lavender Birthday Cake Whipped Cream Nilla Wafers. I love the idea of doggy bags. Because then you can just grab a shape, put it in warmer and go. And this is an herbal lavender. 
and I don't get a whole lot. I get a creaminess from it, but it is it is herbal lavender. So if you're hoping it's sweet lavender, it's not. And then I got a whole mess of scent shots, and I got a lot of duplicates. So I'm trying or <sighs> multiples. Most aren't even duplicates. So I'm gonna put these together so I have them. And one my husband really really likes. So I actually went back on the site and threw more in my cart um, because he was like, oh, I really like that. My husband is just really he's I wouldn't say he's weird but he's definitely strange because he really likes wax and most people are like my husband can't stand my wax and it's like I get my orders in and he's sitting on the couch because my mail runs after he gets home from work and he'll be sitting on the couch and he'll be like I want to smell that I want to smell that I want to smell that and so like he'll literally sit there and smell everything so the only one I got a single of is pink boogies I don't have the scent notes for this but it's pink sugar and like eucalyptus it's supposed to be for like clearing your nose so I try to keep some of that on hand for winter and stuffiness this one my husband wanted more of it's Mac, uh, funnel cake mac apple he's a very big apple fan he would melt apple all year long and I bought these because I had actually gotten a sample of mac or funnel cake mac apple earlier this past year and I saved it for fall. And it smelled so good. So I did wind up grabbing two of those. The next one I have is wardrobe, which is clean cotton towels and pink sugar. And this is another one that he loves. He loves clean cotton types. Yankee Candle Clean Cotton is his number one favorite and has been forever. And this smells a lot like that with that pink sugar sweetened up. So I have two. I have five of that and the last thing in this order is a birthday cake cotton candy frosting jelly donut and that just sounded so good and this is jelly donut and cotton candy frosting the birthday cake may set up later but right now that's all i smell there so i have one two three four five of those so yeah i went i went big this order this is like i said this is the largest order i've ever done um, go ahead and check her out. I'm going to link her website in the description box. Um, I see a lot of my friends haul her stuff. Um, I, I don't melt a ton of her stuff at a time because I never had a lot. I usually would place a small order and get probably polypropylene bags and then, you know, get a few wax pieces. I do have a bunch I bought back in November that I'm putting in my January melt box. They're more minty type blends. So those you will see coming up. I have melted a couple things this month. And I will say I love them. There was one that was Mexican hot cocoa and something. And it smelled so good. Um, I saved that for this because hot cocoa scents I usually save for winter. So I saved that for December. Um, her stuff is very beautiful and performs very nicely. But I, I am a heavy bakery person, so you see a lot more bakery in my hauls. So anyways, that was my haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.